Hello, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I am going to tell how to create a bootable USB on a Linux system. So I will be using Fedora as the image that I would be loading on my USB drive. So let's begin. So on Linux, to create a bootable USB drive, I will be using the tool called as unit boot in, which you can go ahead and check from the site https unitbootin.github.io so it is available for all platforms windows linux and mac so if you click on the linux because i am using a linux based operating system so the first it would give you the commands to install the specific entity so i will be using the same because i am using an elementary os which is based on ubuntu for other specific operating system, you can also get it from below. Now we have opened our terminal and now we will go ahead and specifically install those particular tools. For that we have to add the repository. So I will mention the commands in the description. So what we have to run. So I will be using directly copy paste here and I will be pasting on my system and it will add the repository so it will make sure that you confirm that okay you want to proceed and it will set up the repository on your operating system so now the first command is completed the repository has been added now we will update the repository quickly so it might take a little bit of time if you have not updated the repositories on your system for a long time so it is done and now we are going to install our tool that is called the unit booting for installation so this is correct i will say why and will start the installation of that respective package and it will also install the respective dependencies of the package as well so it has installed successfully our tool Next, we will just quickly go ahead and check whether our tool is available in my application list. So, unit and I can see the application is installed successfully here. Authenticate it and this is my utility ready. Now, the next thing is that I will need to have a USB drive. So, I will go ahead and check. I have already inserted my USB drive here. So I will make sure that this USB drive should be empty. So minimum you need to have around 2 to 3 GB of space depending upon which ISO you are going to go ahead and make in the USB. So I have a 16 GB USB drive so which is right now not used. So what I will do I will just simply format that USB drive. So I will open my disks. And I will see my disk here and I will simply go ahead to settings and I will click on format disk and it will say erase so don't overwrite existing data to for quick so it will say overwrite existing data I want a quick format for full and I will click format and it will start erasing the data so whatever data is there in my end drive that would be erased so my formatting is done so now we i can see 16 gb space now i will quickly go ahead here and see this is 16 gb free i will create a quick partition here so i will use full space for the partitioning that is a 16 gb and select next and i can give it as adora linux and click on create and my disk has been partitioned here now you can see it as def hdc1 so this has been done my disk is end drive is formatted the usb drive now the last thing 
to write in that USB, I need to have the ISO file of the operating system that I want to load in the USB, which will be used for the booting up of devices. So I will go ahead and download Fedora here. So I will just go ahead and search in Google Fedora and the first site getfedora.org. I will be downloading it and Fedora release 34 is already there. So I will be using it for the workstation. You will have Fedora server for IoT as well. So I will just simply download the Fedora workstation. Click here and it will show you what type of file you want. You want directly a Fedora media writer for Windows or Mac. If you are on Windows or Mac or if you are on Linux, you can directly download the ISO file which you can go ahead and right into a USB drive later on that we are going to see. So I will just quickly click on ground load and it will start downloading. So based on the size it will be around 2 GB of size. So it will take around 15 to 20 minutes. So our Fedora ISO image has been downloaded. Now I am going to use the tool to make a bootable USB drive. So I will open my tool that I installed unit boot in and I will just enter the password to open and it has opened so unit boot in dot tool can directly also download the images from the respective Linux versions or because we have already downloaded a disk image, we will select the disk image ISO and select the location where the ISO image is. So I will use it as the home location, Imanchu, and the downloads. And I will select my ISO image and the USB drive is already selected. In case you have multiple USB drive, you have to select which one you want to use. So I am using the USB drive, this one. I have only one pen drive currently attached to my system and that is Dave HDC1 and I will click OK, OK. and the bootable USB drive creation has been started. So let it complete. So now my bootable USB drive creation has been completed successfully and I have the bootable USB ready with me which I can use for booting up any specific systems and I can install a Fedora on those systems. So I have to just select from the BIOS of that system that which boot option I have to use and I will use the USB boot option and from there it will be a guided navigation where I can select and install the respective Fedora operating system. And how to install it I will show in another video. So for this video this was all. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.